Good afternoon, this is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. As the construction season winds down in Siouxland, a substantial segment of a new recreation trail is virtually complete. The Plywood Trail is named for the two counties it connects, Plymouth and Woodbury, and will connect existing separate trails that now end on the northeast side of Sioux City and the southwest side of Lamars. The trail being built over the next few years will add in the towns of Merrill and Hinton with the addition of three segments. Phase one is almost complete with a Merrill to Hinton trail portion needing only some work near driveways. The Plywood Trail Facebook page shared the update while noting that people need to wait to bicycle and otherwise use the trail until spring 2024 after a ribbon cutting. Sioux City is currently the last metro in Iowa without a rec trail that extends out to other towns and Plywood organizers note that when completed, the trail will provide a fun, safe, and healthy way to get to and from Sioux City and Lamars. Phases 2 and 3 involve paving the trail in close proximity to U.S. Highway 75 from Lamars to Merrill and also from Hinton to Sioux City to wrap it up. Additionally, the Iowa legislature will gavel into action in January and some Republicans want to see the state income tax eliminated. State Senator Dan Dawson says Senate Republicans will once again try to eliminate Iowa's income tax, so he's curious to see what kind of a tax cut plan Governor Kim Reynolds puts forth for consideration. Dawson is chairman of the Senate Tax Writing Committee. Last session, that committee advanced Dawson's plan to phase out the income tax, but it didn't get a full Senate vote. Senate Democratic leader Pam Yoakum has said eliminating the income tax isn't sustainable long-term for the state budget. Yoakum said if the personal income tax was eliminated all at once, the state would need a 14% sales tax to make up funding for state programs. Also, several Republican presidential candidates spoke over the weekend in Northwest Iowa in the quest to close the gap on polling leader Donald Trump. But a new poll out Monday shows the former president in a strong position five weeks away from the important Iowa caucuses. Among those who spoke in Sioux Center were Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley, as they have been vying to make a dent in the Trump lead. The Des Moines Register, NBC News, Mediacom Iowa poll shows 51% of likely Republican caucus scores picked Trump as their first choice for president. DeSantis placed second in the poll with 19%. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.